What's up, YouTube? This is K-Po Center coming to you with another video. I do apologize for the wait. I've actually had this video uploaded a week ago. I've been trying to upload it. I had trouble with my YouTube, and it was like a glitch every time I put the video on, so it wouldn't let me upload it. But hopefully tonight, I'll be able to show you my collection. But let's start off with the giveaway. So I'm giving away... This Charizard V, 9 Mint, and is basically going to, who is this going to? Juanita Ray, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, the reason why it's going to them is because they've been liking my videos. They've been commenting every single time that I have in a video. So, I'm giving this away to them. So, this will go to USPS or Primary Mail if switched over to whatever you like to get there sooner um just look out for the details comment and then i'll be able to contact you below so thank you for the support and like of my page and i'll be getting back with anybody else that wants to like and subscribe my page because i'll be coming out of pocket to give away these cards all vintage right here neo genesis Neo Genesis for our next, my next videos. Pikachu, build a bear workshop. That's very rare. They don't make those no more. Raichu, number six. PSA, Dark Persian, first edition. PSA, knockout, nine mint. With the plastic still around it. And it's great at number nine. And last but not least, uh, we got an unknown near mint eight at unseen forces. Very popular vintage pack back in 2005. So it's very, very old. So I want to show you my vintage Pokemon binder, the next of all my collection. So I hope you like it. So you got Team Rocket for this whole page. As you can see, you have a Dark Charizard, Dark Flareon, Dark Vaporeon, Dark Jolteon, and the rest of Dark Squirtle, which is just Squirtle and Dark all War Turtle. This page is all promo. As you can see, they go for about $10 a piece, sometimes 15 for the Dragonite. That's the first WB Pokemon movie. And this was actually a Gym Heroes trainer. Abra. Promo. Very rare. Mewtwo. Mew. And then this next page is the same Black Star promo. A lot of promos. So, very rare to come across. And then, then this is actually Jungle with Fossil. Neo Genesis and we have more Neo Genesis Jungle Fossil non holographic Hunter first edition very rare H Hypno first edition Fossil Slow bro, I think they should make that holographic. Nidorino, Shadowless, 1999, all the way to 95, first edition. That's Shadowless. See how light the card is? That's Shadowless. And they, you know what? I had this card in holographic form, and I actually, I don't know what I did with it, but I know they make those in holographic. Very rare to have, unless it was a fake, but. These are all fossils. Very beautiful. First edition. Let me know what you think about the video. Um, I think the Golbat should have been first edition because Golbat is like the second up from Zubat. And it definitely looks like a card that should have been first edition. It would have been really nice. You got Muck, first edition, non-holographic. 
Execute, Pikachu, Neo Genesis, Dark Dragonite. That was actually one of my favorite. I don't know why they didn't make this first edition. This one, for sure, looks like some Dragon Ball Z, Dark Gold Duck, um, Dark Execute. Oh no, I'm sorry, Dark Electroid, so forth. This is the non-holographic. Same thing with this. They should have made that holographic and that holographic. I don't understand why they don't put more holographics when they should have. But um, you got uh, Croconaw, first edition, Dark Vaporeon. That should have been first edition. I've never seen a first edition on that one. That's actually a hollow, but it's a non-hollow first edition. Same thing with this Kabutox, first edition, not hollow. And come across some more commons. First edition, Neo Genesis. Put you back down. Not, 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 not Polyrath. First edition. This is Neo Discovery. Neo Genesis. Neo Genesis. Neo Genesis. And if you come over some more, we got more to the video. So, that should have been holographic, and that should have been holographic for sure. Because I think this is more artwork. Look how defined that was. Very beautiful card. Weezing was actually one of those deadly cards. Now, this is a banned card. As you can see at the bottom, I don't know why. Look up, do more research. Not holographic non-holographic, 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 non, 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 non. And then you come over, there's more, non. So you come through the pages and the number one card I think they should have made holographic was this one. First edition, very beautiful. And this one, like, I don't understand. Look at that dark Jolteon. Look how beautiful the, look at that artwork, dude. Dark Jolteon Team Rocket, Dragonite. Of course, they made that holographic. I have one of those in mint condition. As you can see, there's more artwork. Very beautiful. And as you come over more, there's more first editions. I was trying to make sure Dark Tyranitar, Dark Polopar, and they have more. So I kind of mixed this page up with some, but they have a lot of Gym Heroes World Championships 2005. Look out for those Pokemon cards. And a non these are all non-holographics on this page. I collect those too, because as they're still not as shiny, it doesn't have that foil, they're still worth a lot you know and and you know sentimental value so collect those as much as you can because they do not make these anymore that's actually holographic i had one of those holographic but um i sold it <laughs> that should have been a holographic that's a badass card dude it's one of my favorite artwork dark uh flareon this is a lieutenant surge's uh jolteon same thing. Butterfree, they have that in holographic, that holographic, and they, they don't have that in holographic. And this holographic. So we come down more to the first editions. Remind you, this is my first edition binder. I have a lot of first editions. And then we're gonna actually make the difference between a unlimited and a shadowless. So the first thing you can point out is the 95, 96, 98, 99. That's how you can point out that 99 that is a shadowless card because it was actually older than this 98 card. 95, 96, 98. Also, the letters or a little bit, you see the difference? 
That's a shadow list. This is not. This is unlimited. So a lot of these cards are shadow list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then we go over to the Japanese. This is actually a different era. Back 2002, 2003, it's a, kind of like a reverse hollow. Then we have English, Japanese, so forth. So take a look at these e-cards. So if you don't know anything about the e-cards, the e-cards were the cards where you could actually slice that against your Game Boy Color, first edition. First edition, that's how you can tell if it's a first edition or not. That's not first edition. This is. And then you come over to the next one, e-card, e-card. You find out, I have this in holographic, but non-hollow, it's not worth it much, but it's still a very good condition. Look at that, look at the artwork. Very beautiful, took time to actually draw it out. And then we have more. So, Almost including this video, please like, subscribe. Please tell me what your favorite artwork is. And um, I will give another card out. I will send it out near this Christmas, after Christmas time. Look at the Onyx, looking like a... Oh, I can't see that, but <laughs> that artwork's funny. And I also will be giving out one more subscriber with the best comment with this Christmas edition with Christmas around it. So you'll be getting in that e-card of the Flaffy Meows. They have a lot of different ones. I'm just naming the cards, but that one I'm actually giving away with the Christmas around it. So I hope you like these cards. A lot of trainer first editions. That's how you can tell right here. If you have a first edition in your um, stockpile or whatever you have, and you have a rare card. Now, I'm going to get over to my next card. These are foil tops cards. These are rare. Gengar. You got Lickitung. Uh, Lickitung. Snorlax. And, okay. <laughs> and a lot more good stuff. So... If you have a lot of shiny cards like this, they are very rare because they do not make, again, once again, they do not make these cards. These are Topps cards. If they look like this in the background, they have the full art. This was like the full art back in the day, right here. Very rare. And they sold a whole pack of them. Very cheap. You can still get these cards for a good amount of uh, money for each pack, but... To be honest with you, if you open it up, put them in a binder, not these ring binders, because I have many cards. So this is uh, Team Rocket. This is Brock's. This is actually Team Rocket. And this is Ash and uh, Misty. So they're di different uh, trainers. And then we go off to the next movie. Um, this is after the uh, Mewtwo Returns. So as you can see in the artwork, very beautiful. They took a lot of time doing each and every card. So you can see that I have a big collection. This is not your ordinary, okay, sorry. This is not your ordinary, ordinary collection, but this is actually Pika Pikachu's <laughs> Vacation. Please go to Amazon. If you think you've never seen this movie or haven't seen this movie, go to Amazon, order the DVD for Pikachu's Vacation. This will show you everything. Keep all your Pokemon stuff because this stuff is very loved and it's very cherishable. This actually makes my day when I look at it. I can, I can actually go through a lot of stuff, have a lot of stress on my mind, and I can look at this Pokemon stuff and it actually give me strength and actually give me a lot of wisdom of pulling through wherever I go through. Look at that Mewtwo. Look at him. Dope artwork. 
Someone took their time to draw all this stuff flick by flick, you know, and draw all these like great ideas. Like, you know, look at that Gengar, Hunter, Ghastly, Team Rocket, the enemy, and then you have the Professor, Elm. Oh, I don't know that guy. I don't want to forget his name. Squirtle, Pikachu, and this is Butterfree, and then it's another Butterfree. And last but not least, we have more of the... Oh, this is my favorite art, artwork right here. So, if you like my book, please like, subscribe, as um, I announce the winner of this first card that I'm giving out. A mint condition 2020 uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield 9 mint. The only reason why I'm giving out a new card is because it's a Charizard. It doesn't matter what card it is. If you keep a Charizard, it will go up in value over the amount of 10 years plus, And it will be worth a lot of money. And the more you collect, the more the better. So please like, subscribe. If you want to win some more cards, please let me know. And I hope you like my video. Thank you.